Micromagus is a satirical short story by the Enlightenment philosopher Voltaire, first published in 1752. Through a blend of science fiction elements and philosophical satire, Voltaire critiques the limitations of human knowledge and the arrogance that often accompanies it. The story revolves around two giant beings, Micromagus, a resident of a planet orbiting the star Sirius and a companion from the planet Saturn. Micromagus stands an astonishing 120,000 feet tall and is endowed with considerable intelligence, having acquired knowledge of many arts and sciences throughout his long lifespan of 450 years, which is still considered to be in the prime of Syrian youths. He writes a book that contains all the knowledge of his planet, only to have it labeled as heretical, leading to his exile. Discontented but curious, Micromagus begins a journey through the universe to gain more knowledge and understand the diversity of the worlds beyond his own. During his travels, Micromagus arrives on the ringed planet Saturn, which, compared to his home world, is rather small, and meets the secretary of the Academy of Saturn, a learned Saturnian daemon only 6,000 feet tall. They both bond over shared intellectual pursuits and a mutual sense of being outcasts among their simpler-minded brethren. After discussing and comparing their worlds, they decide to travel together, visiting various stars and celestial bodies, learning much, but also recognizing how much there is they do not know. Their journey continues until they reach Earth, a planet whose size is so minuscule to them that they initially do not notice it. When they do, they both assume that it would be impossible for such a tiny sphere to harbor any intelligent life. They spend considerable time searching, only to discover a whale, which they initially mistake for the planet's dominant creature. However, upon closer inspection, they observe a ship at sea, which leads them to realize that there are indeed smaller rational inhabitants. With the use of a special type of microscope, Micromagus and his Saturnian companion are able to observe the humans aboard the ship. They place the vessel along with its occupants on Micromega's fingernail and converse with the humans, though both the giants and the humans need to devise creative solutions for communication due to their size difference. They employ a type of speaking trumpet and engage in a philosophical dialogue. Micromegas inquires about human knowledge, including the sciences, ethics, and metaphysics. The humans proudly present their learning, but Micromegas is surprised at the paradox of their knowledge, immense yet limited. The Syrian, who often sees things from an elevated perspective quite literally and figuratively, is both amused and saddened by the narrow scope and occasional self-importance of the human scholars. He is astounded that these tiny creatures, who live for such a brief time and on such a small scale, can possess such a grand opinion of their knowledge and importance in the universe. Their discussion spans the theological and the scientific, with the philosophers on board arguing about the nature of the soul among different beings and the scholars presenting their various theories. Micromegas raises questions that the humans struggle to answer satisfactorily, and the conversation reveals the narrow-mindedness of sectarian disputes and the folly of presuming to understand the entirety of God's creation. As a gift before parting, Micromagus gives the humans a book that he believes contains the answer to every possible question. However, upon his departure, when the humans open the book, they find blank pages. A metaphorical portrayal of Voltaire's belief that while humans may seek absolute knowledge, in the end, we often find that we know nothing. The tale of Micromagus is a whimsical and layered one, employing the story of a cosmic voyage to illuminate human ignorance and the inherent limitations all creatures face in understanding the workings of an infinite universe. Voltaire satirizes the scientific pretensions of the age, poking fun at human pomposity in the face of the vast and unknown cosmos. At the same time, he praises curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge, as exemplified by Micromagus and the Saturnians' delight in exploration and discourse. Notably, the story also foreshadows themes that will later become central in the genre of science fiction, including interplanetary travel, encounters with extraterrestrial beings, and the speculative philosophizing about humanity's place within a broader cosmic context. Voltaire's narrative with its careful mix of ironic detachment and earnest inquisitiveness, 
forces the reader to confront the contrast between the grandeur of the universe and our own mortal concerns. The piercing wit embedded in the story critiques not only the culture and science of the 18th century, but also speaks to ongoing human issues, such as egocentrism, the clashes of worldviews, and the pursuit of wisdom in a vast, unknowable universe. Through the adventures of Micromegas and his Saturnian friend, Voltaire expresses his philosophical viewpoint that recognizes the diversity of existence across the cosmos while stressing the importance of humility, intellectual openness, and the perpetual drive to learn and expand one's horizons, despite the inevitable limitations all beings must encounter. Ultimately, Micromegas is a tale that celebrates boundless curiosity and the search for knowledge, while reminding us of the futility of arrogance in a universe much larger and more incredible than we can ever entirely comprehend.